welcome to ABC Interactive English. This is Henry, and this is Karen.、Mm -hmm. And today we are looking at our jokes and fun again, and it's called "Not the Password." And the vocabulary words are computer, computer. My computer is really slow. Living room, living room. Andy's living room gets a lot of natural light. Type, type. How fast can Vivian type? Difficulty, difficulty. Ed still has some difficulty with that dance.、Mm -hmm. Karen, do you remember your first computer? Uh, I remember my dad's. I used to use my dad's computer when I was younger,、uh -huh. like doing schoolwork. What kind of computer was it? We didn't have one of those flat screens. The monitor was very, very big. Right. Right. Well, it was very, very thick. That's right. It was very thick and very big,、uh -huh. and it was very slow. Yeah. Everything was very slow,、mm -hmm. and the internet was a dial-up tone. <laughs> That's right. And everything was very slow.、Mm -hmm. How about you? What was your first computer like? Well, I think the first computer that I ever used was an Apple IIe. You used an Apple, yes,、really? in my typing class. Oh, okay, and you're okay. Right. So, but way back when, when people had to take a class to learn how to type, I had a class. Yeah, that... I don't think kids these days need a typing class anymore. Do I guess、you? they. I mean, they kind of have、don't. to learn it, learn、True. to do it as soon as they get a phone. I guess so, but then it's、oh, different when you're hey, using yeah, a yeah, keyboard. Yeah. yeah, can you tell us that for those of you younger、uh, students out there, can you tell us if you still need to take a typing class, or do you just learn it on your own? Maybe they still do. They still、really? use keyboards, right? Yeah, but th th it, it was seems... so fun. I loved my typing class back in the days. Okay. <laughs> the question for today is: Where was the husband's wife, and what did he shout to her? Where was the husband's wife, and what did he shout to her?、Mm -hmm. Not the password. John's parents' computer wouldn't connect to the internet, so John came over to help fix the problem. John asked his dad for the internet password, but he couldn't remember it. He shouted to his wife in the living room. What's the internet password? His wife shouted back. Start with a capital S, then one, two, three. John and his dad typed S one two three several times, but it didn't work. Finally, they called John's mom in. As she typed the password, she asked. Why did you have so much difficulty typing start one two three? Explanation one. Hi, I'm Jeff. Hi, I'm Hanny. Welcome to Jokes and Fun. Today, everyone, we're going to take it easy and have a good time while learning English once again. Who knows? Maybe we'll even have a laugh. Ha <laughs> ha, Jeff. Given the quality of the jokes and funny stories that we tell, I can pretty much guarantee that there will be laughter. So why wait? Let's get started. The title of this month's second joke is "Not the Password." Okay. The first sentence of this joke tells us that John's parents. John's parents' computer, I should say. John's parents' computer wouldn't connect to the internet. Hmm. Does this mean that someone is having problems? Well, not necessarily. Regardless, computer is the first vocabulary word of the day. Computer, computer. It's a noun. A computer is an electronic device. A fancy machine that can run programs and store data. It can allow us to surf the internet, so on and so forth. These are some of the things that computers do. And yeah, all of you guys know what a computer is. Your smartphones are computers. Your tablets, things like iPads, are computers. Your home PCs or your desktop PCs are computers as well. 
for example. When his computer crashed, he lost all of his electronic documents. Oh, I'm also very afraid my notebook will suddenly go out. I'm going to go home and have to separate all my electronic documents and documents. Okay, computer. Computer is a machine. It's used as a noun. For example, her brother can build a computer on his own. Her brother can build a computer on his own. His brother can build a computer on his own. His brother can build a computer on his own. His brother can build a computer on his own. He has been sitting in front of his computer since he got up. He has been sitting in front of his computer since he got up. 他从起床的那一刻起就一直坐在电脑前。好，顺便补充一下电子产品的一些英文，像 smartphone 是智慧型手机，大家都很熟悉。Tablet 是平板电脑。那如果你要区分桌上型电脑跟笔记型电脑的话，桌上型你可以说 desktop， 那笔电可以说 laptop， 也可以说 notebook。好，接着笑话标题是 Not the password。Password 就是密码。现在 John 他爸妈家里面的电脑连不上网络。当我们要表达连上网络那个连接，你可以用 connect 这个动词。Okay, everyone, let's read on. John's parents were having computer problems, so John came over to help fix the problem. Hmm. This joke has already got me laughing. <laughs> Why? Because my parents often ask me to fix their computer too. How funny, and how shall, and how true. How true. I agree. Okay, so that he could get started, John asked his dad for the internet password, but John's dad couldn't remember it, and that's why he shouted to his wife. Is that all, Hanny? Or are you leaving out some? Important, critical pieces of information. I mean, where was the wife that her husband needed to shout to her? And what did the husband shout? Jeff, those are excellent questions. In fact, we're going to answer your questions right now. Yes, you heard me right, everyone. It is now time for the question of the day. Where was the husband's wife, and what did he shout to her? He shouted to his wife in the living room, "What's the internet password?" He shouted to his wife in the living room, "What's the internet password?" And here we have the second vocabulary word of the day: living room. Living room, living room. It's a noun. A living room is a room in a house or an apartment that gets lived in. That is, people use it a lot. Okay, people live in or use living rooms a lot. Yes, folks, we call a living room a living room because people live quite a bit in their living rooms. Yeah, the living room is where the inhabitants of a house get together to talk, to watch TV. To meet friends, etc. For example, it's time for a family discussion. Let's head to the living room. We're going to have a family discussion. So, everyone, come to the living room. Living room. From the language, it means the living room. Living room. From the language, it means the living room. Living room. From the language, it means the living room. Living room. From the language, it means the living room. Living room. From the language, it means the living room. Living room. From the language, it means the living room. Living room. From the language, it means the living room. Living room. From the language, it means the living room. Living room. From the language, it means the living room. Living room. From the language, it means the living room. The living room looks spacious. 这个客厅它看起来很宽敞，空间很大。好，再看一个例句。They bought new curtains for their living room. They bought new curtains for their living room. 他们替客厅添购了新的门帘。好，那么 John 来到他爸妈家里，帮他们解决网络连线的问题。John 问他爸爸这个网络密码，可是爸爸忘了。那 John 的妈妈人在客厅，所以爸爸就对他妈妈大喊说：“他的爸爸向妈妈大喊说，网络密码是什么啊？” Well, not too long ago, we read about John's father, the husband who had shouted to his wife. Next up in our story, she shouts back. That makes sense. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> What's the internet password? He shouted, and in response, his wife shouted back. Start with a capital S, then one, two, three. That's what she said or shouted. All right. Anyway, with that, it is now time to take a break.
Yes, it is. But don't go away, guys. We'll be back soon. Would you please call a taxi for me? Could you please call a taxi for me? Could you please call a taxi for me? 或者是哪邊我可以搭到自行車呢,不用你叫我自己去搭. Uh, uh, Where can I catch a cab? Where can I catch a cab? Mm-hmm. What is my taxi or cab? 這兩個都是自行車,但是在北美呢,你常會聽到人家說 oh. cab. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay, now catch是抓的意思,所以呢, catch a taxi and catch a cab, 其實都是自行車了, catch a taxi. Catch a cab. 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 Catch a 收費啊,那如果電車司機說,我按這種按表收費,I oh, charge fares according to the meter. I charge fares according to the meter. Yes, yes, yes. 上車之後呢,跟司機說,啊,請帶我到這邊來,到到去什麼什麼地方。Please take me to this address. Please take me to this address. 對,所以如果到了目的地的時候,記得跟司機說請讓我在這邊下車。Please drop me off here. Please drop me off here. Mm, drop me off 這個字面上就是把我丟在這裡就好了, Please drop me off here. 好,我說誒那個前面十字路口讓我下. Please drop me off at the intersection. Please drop me off at the inter- intersection. Mm, intersection. Uh-huh. <笑> 那如果下車時候像我媽那種很大方人,都會把那零錢,啊,你拿去你拿去沒有關係當小費。啊哈,就 Benzawa, keep the change. 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 接下来看我们的... Life action. Do you use the meter? Yes, I charge fares according to the meter. Oh, where would you like to go? Please take me to this address. Oh, okay. Where would you like me to drop you off? Please drop me off at the intersection. No problem. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, here is two hundred and ten dollars. Keep the change. Thanks. Have a nice day. You too. Explanation two. Welcome back, everyone. Before the break, John's mom had shouted the password to her son John and her husband. Start with a capital S, then one, two, three. She had shouted. Hmm. Pretty straightforward, right? Hmm? Maybe. Maybe not. Regardless, John and his dad typed capital S123 several times, but it didn't work. Hmm. I'm starting to think that capital S123 is not the password. Never mind, though. Type is the third vocabulary word of the day. Type. Type. It's a verb. To type is to write using the keyboard of a computer or a typewriter. When people are typing, they're just hitting the keys on the keyboards of a computer or of a typewriter. But usually these days, yeah, people, they type on computers. That's what typing is all about. For example, the professor asked me to type out my report. 那位教授要求交上来的报告要用电脑打字的。那么type, type 这个单词在课文里面它是当动词表示打字。例如, she can type 100 words per minute. She can type 100 words per minute. 她一分钟可以打一百个字。好,再看个例句。He typed the password and pressed the enter key. 
He typed the password and pressed the enter key. 他输入密码之后，接着就按 Enter 输入键。好，回到笑话里面，这样的妈妈说密码是大写 S 开头，然后一二三。文中的 capital 就是形容大写字母的。Well, I feel John and John's dad's pain right now. S one two three. S one two three is an invalid password. S one two three. S one two three is an invalid password. Oh, on and on and on. How frustrating! Yeah, I've been through that many, many times before. It is maddening. Anyways, yeah, John and his dad soon reached their wits' end, and finally, they called John's mom in. And as she typed the password, she asked, "Why did you have so much difficulty typing start one two three? <laughs> What start one two three and not s one two three was the password?" Ha! How funny! I get it now. That was hilarious. Also, let's not forget that difficulty is the final vocabulary word of the day. Difficulty. Difficulty, it's a noun. Here, a difficulty is like a problem. Yeah, a difficulty is like a tough situation. Basically, John's mom was wondering why John and her husband had been unable to sign in. She thought, "Hey, the password's easy enough, right?" Hmm, not exactly. For example, I had difficulty getting the door open, but it gave in due time. 那一扇门很难开，不过后来还是有顺利打开。Difficult 是形容困难的。那我们的单字在字尾加上 y 变成 difficulty。Difficulty 就是名词，表示困难。那常见的用法是用 have difficulty 加上动词 ing， 或是你也可以用 have difficulty with 加上名词。这表示做某事有困难。例如 ，Eric has difficulty with his homework. Eric has difficulty with his homework. Eric 他不太会写他的作业，他碰到困难了。再看一个例句 ，We found the restaurant without difficulty. We found the restaurant without difficulty. 我们很顺利就找到那间餐厅，完全没有碰到任何困难。好，那同学们有看懂这个笑话的梗吗 ？John 的妈妈说 ，Start with a capital S, then one, two, three。当我们说 Start with 什么什么，就是以什么开头。所以 John 跟他爸爸以为说密码就是以大写 S 开头，可是其实妈妈的意思是 Start 这个字的 S 要大写，密码是 Start 一二三。好啦，那今天课文就讲解到这里喽。Okay, everyone, that's it for today's joke. I sure hope that. You all enjoyed it. Me too, and yeah, I enjoyed it myself. Hmm, it was a good job. It is. Regardless, though, it is now time for a break. But don't go away, you guys. We'll be back soon. Not the password. John's parents' computer wouldn't connect to the internet, so John came over to help fix the problem. John asked his dad for the internet password, but he couldn't remember it. He shouted to his wife in the living room, "What's the internet password?" His wife shouted back, "Start with a capital S, then one, two, three." John and his dad typed S one two three several times, but it didn't work. Finally, they called John's mom in. As she typed the password, she asked, "Why did you have so much difficulty typing start one two three?" Somebody can't remember something. 第二则是叫人进来的动词片语 call somebody in. 让我们从表示记不住的句型开始吧 Somebody can't remember something. 意思是某人记不住某事物
。Remember， 在这里是及物动词，记得想起的意思。前方搭配否定助动词 can't， 无法。合在一起 ，somebody can't remember something， 就是某人记不得某事物。例如 ，we can't remember being a baby， 我们记不得襁褓中的事物。接着来看下一则文法，动词片语 call somebody in， 意思是叫某人进来。call 在这里是动词，呼唤、召集的意思。in 则是副词里面的意思，合在一起 ，call somebody in 就是叫某人进来。例如 ，Fiona's teacher called her in to talk about her behavior. Fiona 被老师叫进去谈举止。以上就是今天的两则文法，全民说英语。我们下次见喽。A sentence a day. Everyone, welcome to a sentence today with me, Karen. 这个礼拜同样要跟大家介绍一些有关于室内活动的句子。那今天要讲的就是，当你在上网的时候，有时候你会看到一些非常好玩、有趣、好笑的一些网站。那你想要跟朋友分享，说，哎，你来看一下这个有趣的网站。这个英文可以怎么说呢 ？You can say, check out this funny website. Check out this. Funny website. 你来看一下这个有趣的网站。Well, this week we're introducing some sentences related to indoor activities. Okay, so today we're talking about checking out some cool, funny website. Maybe you're browsing the internet. Okay, you're going to different websites, just checking them out, taking a look, and you find a website that's really funny. Maybe it tells a lot of funny jokes or shows a lot of funny videos that you want to share with your friends. Then you can say, "Hey, check out this funny website." Okay, come take a look. Check out this funny website. Okay, and that's our sentence for today. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny， 又到我们一分钟的单元喽。那我们今天在 jokes and fun 也学到了四个单词，现在就用一分钟的时间来帮大家复习一下。同学们，您都准备好了没？一分钟计时开始。好，第一个单词是电脑，电脑太简单了吧？会不会讲就是 computer， computer。I had my computer fixed yesterday。我昨天请人家帮我修理电脑。好，再看第二个单词是客厅。好，我们日常生活中有很多时间都会花在客厅里面，所以这个我们是用。是日常生活起居室 ，living room, living room， 将来表达客厅。The kids were watching cartoons in the living room. 小朋友们正在客厅看卡通。再看第三个单词是打字，打字怎么说呢？就是 type, type, type. David types with two fingers. David 他打字是用两根手指头在敲键盘。再看第四个单词是困难，它是当名词啊，不是 hard 那个字。困难怎么说？你可能会想到 difficult， 没错，在后后面加上 y 变成 difficulty， difficulty 就是名词困难。The students had difficulty understanding the poem. 学生们要理解那首诗，碰到困难。好，太好了，我们在一分钟之内顺利复习完四个单词了。同学们表现很棒哦，回去也要多多复习，多多造句练习。今天的 A B C Interactive English 到此为止，下次见喽，拜拜。